In 2012, survivors, residents, and LGBTQ organizations gathered to protest, a controversial walking tour that began at Club 219 and promised to march through the grisly corridors of Jeffrey Dahmer's life. Milwaukee's LGBTQ community had been systematically hunted and killed by Dahmer, then continuously re-traumatized by the exploitation of Dahmer's gruesome acts. It was time to exercise his ghost. Before and after Dahmer, Club 219 was a dance and drag emporium. It was our intent to literally elevate the art of drag to new heights in Milwaukee, said owner Tony Canfora, both in quality of production and in actual height. Club 219's stage was elevated several feet off the floor, with curtains soaring into the 20-foot ceiling. The performers were held to high standards, but they were also paid a salary, which was a first for Milwaukee. Competition was fierce during the golden age of drag. Club 219 went head-to-head with Lacage for the best performers and the biggest crowds. Original performers Samantha Stevens and the Who's No Lady Review passed the torch to Ginger Spice and the Club 219 girls. Later, revolutionary performer and local icon B.J. Daniels served as show director. Lily White's Thursday night show became an unusual comedy tradition, and male strippers were featured on a weekly basis. The lure of Club 219's great stage brought many performers from the Chicagoland area, including Alexandra Billings, Mimi Marks, and Candy Stratton, all of whom went on to become enormously famous. National performers Divine, Gloria Gaynor, Taylor Dane, The Weather Girls, and The Village People also graced the stage. Milwaukee made international headlines in 1991 when Jeffrey Dahmer briefly made Club 219 infamous. But to those within Milwaukee's LGBTQ community, the site was a place of glamour and giggles for nearly 30 years. First, when the location was a disco known as Circus, drag hosts enchanted crowds under a cut-glass leaping lion. Later, they towered above them on the Club 219 stage. And through it all, LGBTQ Milwaukeeans danced. Sadly, Club 219 closed abruptly in 2005 without so much as a farewell show. Most furnishings were sold at auction, and the property remained vacant for over 15 years. The Milwaukee LGBTQ community and the building itself have moved on. It's time for Dahmer's ghost to do the same.